I'm going to show you how to install Windows 95. Uh, you can do it on your old PC if you have one or whatever you want. I'm doing it on a virtual machine. Uh, so all the files that you need for this you can find under the description of this video. Uh, you can you have to download Windows ISO, so Windows 95 ISO, and also the boot disk, uh, which has to be used to start the installation of Windows. So it cannot be done like on modern Windows where you just boot the Windows. Here you have to boot uh, Windows installation from another source and that is uh, the boot disk. So you can download it and then you can uh, follow along with this video. Inside your virtual machine you have to create new virtual machine. Uh, you choose uh, to install operating system later. You choose Microsoft Windows and choose the Windows 95. You choose the location where you're gonna save your virtual machine. I'm doing it on a separate drive, I'm not gonna do it on Windows C. Uh, you put name on it if you want it and then you choose a single file disk. You can customize hardware, uh, you can use 64 megabytes of RAM or 128 megabytes of RAM. You have to go to CD drive and use ISO image file and then you have to uh, load Windows 95 uh, disk that you can download from my link. Uh, also you have to add a floppy disk. The floppy disk is going to be used for uh, booting source. You have to uh, use ISO image file. Also you can find download from my link so use you use that floppy drive and you use this option uh, that it that floppy drive has to be connected at power on after that you can press finish and you can start your virtual machine so first it's going to boot your floppy drive and you have to type in uh, f disk for creating and formatting partition for the Windows 1995. So you type F disk, press enter, you type 1 and press enter, then again you type 1 and press enter, and you type Y for yes, so it creates the maximum size partition. Uh, after that you have to restart uh, your virtual machine in order to boot Windows and do other stuff that is needed to do. So you just uh, you can send control alt delete command or you can just go to restart guest after that we have to format our newly created so we're just gonna type in a format C disk you type Y for confirmation you can type label if you want or you can just press enter for no label and now we can start the Windows setup very important part uh, you have to read what is your CD drive letter. So it's here in my case it's R. So you have to read that in the beginning and now you can type. So you type R or your drive letter and afterward you type colon and press enter. And now you can uh, type setup.exe and press enter. And you confirm it again on enter and now you can follow the setup and you can use your mouse now. So you just here go continue, you press yes, uh, you go to next, you choose C Windows directory, you can choose different installation types, you can go to custom if you want to add some games or other stuff that are optional, or you can go with typical. You type here your serial number that can be found also in my downloads under video description. Uh, afterward, you just press next, you type the name and company, go next, you can choose here yes to check the hardware, you can add network adapter or sound card, you go next, wait for this part to finish. Here you can customize and add stuff if, if you want it. When you're finished you just press ok and go to next, you go next here too and you confirm your hardware, you go to next, you can skip creating a startup disk, we already have done that one, you downloaded it, you let it finish the last part of installation, you go to finish, 
And now it says that we have to remove that floppy da drive with a startup disk. So you can uh, go into options up here into player, you go to manage, actually you go to removable device, you go to floppy and just choose disconnect. Now you can press OK and it's gonna restart your computer or your virtual machine and it's gonna boot into Windows 95. You can choose your work group or computer description. Work group you have to choose and description is optional. It is finishing last setup steps. You can choose your region here, time zone. Uh, you can add printer here but you probably want to skip this. And one final restart and that's it. Hi guys, I'm making nostalgic videos about old technology, like old computers, game consoles, old software and that kind of stuff. It would mean a lot to me if you would support me and subscribe to my channel. Thanks!